Hi, I'm Stephen Mitchell, a Dish Master Technician here in Denver, Colorado. Today I'm going to walk you through the steps associated with programming a hopper inside the Elan Smart Home Operating System. Let's go check it out. To program your hopper in the Elan Smart Home System, first step is to right click on Communication Devices and then click Add New Communication Device. You'll search for the Dish Network driver in their driver list and then click OK. Once the driver is added to your project, at the bottom of the screen we'll click on Discover Devices. It'll take a minute for all the hoppers and joeys on your network to be auto-discovered and added to your project. We'll drop down the Sources menu. From here we'll locate the main hopper in your project, in this case Nate's office. We'll verify that the IP address is correct and then we'll click Start Pairing. This will generate a pairing pin on the screen of your hopper. Once you've entered that in the pairing pin field, click Apply. Once that's finished, we will send the pairing pin using the Send Pairing Pin button. You should see a pairing successful on the screen of the hopper. You should see a green box appear in the status field above. So underneath the hopper that you've selected, you should see something that says Dish Hopper. We're going to click on that and we're going to rename this so we can find it later in the project. And then click Apply. The next step is we're going to find the Zone Controllers. We're going to expand that menu and you should see one underneath it that says Dish. We'll then expand that one and you should see a Source 1, Source 2. For now we're going to click on Source 1 and we're going to change our source device to the hopper that we just renamed and then click Apply. Once you click Apply, the hopper will be fully controllable in the Elan interface.